iOS 5 can be jailbroken on pretty much any device that can run it, but the method you use will depend on what type of device you have. Older devices can use the Red Snow method, but devices with A5 chips, like the iPhone 4S and iPad 2, need to use the Green Poison Absinthe method. First we'll show you how to jailbreak older devices with Red Snow, and then newer A5 based devices with Absinthe. Either way, before you begin, upgrade to iOS 5.01 first. Or we're going to be jailbreaking with Red Snow, which is a common jailbreaking method. And to do that, you want to make sure that your phone is off. So just turn it off normally, like you always would, by holding down the power button up top and then sliding the power off. And so we're going to wait for that to happen. But meanwhile, on your screen, you'll have opened the Red Snow application that you downloaded from the post you're looking at at the moment. And click the jailbreak button. You'll have two options, just jailbreak and install Cydia and extras, which has everything else. We want to click the jailbreak button. So it's going to tell us right now, make sure your phone is off and plugged in. So we've got it off and it's plugged into the computer currently. So that means that we're ready to go. Now as soon as we hit the next button down here, we're going to need to start touching some buttons on the iPhone and it's going to tell us exactly what to do at certain times and give us a countdown and so on. So be ready to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And then I'm going to need to hold down the power button for three seconds. And then after three seconds, I'm going to hold down the power button but keep holding down the home button for a total of 10 seconds. Now when the screen goes off and I, I can go ahead and let go of the power button, but I'm going to keep holding down the home button for about 15 seconds. Now normally it's going to finish this process first. There it goes. You can see on the screen it's exploiting and doing everything it needs to do to make the jailbreak happen. So you just basically have to wait at this point. It's going ahead doing it, waiting for it to reboot, and you're going to see on the screen in a minute um, everything is going to pop up uh, as actually um, going through the jailbreaking process. So let's just speed this along. Okay, now that we're basically jailbroken, we need to choose what we want to do here. You can install Cydia by default, which you do want to do because that is the jailbreak app store. You need that to actually really do a whole lot. Um, and then you can also install custom bundles, enable multitask gestures, which I'm going to do, and deactivate. So I think these two options are the ones you want. You can leave the others unchecked. So I'm going to go ahead, hit next, and that's going to be processed. And here comes the jailbreak on the iPhone screen. When the jailbreak is done and your phone's rebooted, you just have to unlock it and you should find on your home screen a new app called Cydia, which is the jailbreak app store. You're all done, you're jailbroken, just launch it and you can start doing all the jailbreak stuff you ever dreamed of. The Green Poison Absinthe method is pretty simple. You just plug in your iPhone or iPad, there's no need to enter DFU mode or even turn it off. Open the Absinthe Jailbreak app on your Mac or Windows PC and click the Jailbreak button. And wait. Your device will go into a fake restore session and reboot. When it reboots, do not touch it. The jailbreak process is not over yet. You will be notified on screen when the Absinthe method has finished its work. It will tell you to find the quote unquote Jailbreak app on one of your home screen pages. The app is not actually labeled Jailbreak, but rather Absinthe. So go ahead and tap that app and it should cause your device to reboot with the Jailbreak complete. If that doesn't happen, however, just open up the Settings app on your device and flip the VPN toggle switch to ON. You'll receive an error, which you need to dismiss, and then after a few seconds, your device will reboot. Once you're done jailbreaking, you'll now find Cydia on one of your home screen pages. Open it up and start installing whatever you want. 